Prince Charles' Heartbreak, How Charles Was Last to Find Out About Archie's Birth Prince Charles was among the last to find out about the birth of Archie Harrison, Prince Harry's son in 2019. The revelation was found in court papers submitted by Meghan Markle, and come from the biography written about the couple by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, Finding Freedom. One statement in particular written in Finding Freedom refers to Prince Charles and how he found out about the birth of his grandson Archie Harrison last year. Finding Freedom reads, Harry took to texting and calling friends, including Skippy, who he was speaking with more regularly at this point, and family with the happy news of Archie's arrival. You might expect that parents are the first you would inform of a new baby, but not in the case of Harry and Charles. The book added, he started with the Queen and Prince Philip, who were the first to hear the news about the arrival of their eighth great-grandchild. After telling the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh, Harry tried to tell Charles, but it is likely the Prince of Wales didn't find out for a while. Finding Freedom explains, he then sent his father and brother texts alongside a photo of his new son, before notifying other family members, including Princess Anne's daughter, Zara, and her husband, the rugby legend Mike Tyndall, through the special cousins only WhatsApp group that all royal were a part of. Countering the claims written in Finding Freedom, Meghan's lawyer Jenny Afia said the information was likely untrue. M. Zafia said, I understand it is widely known that the Prince of Wales does not have a mobile phone. It should come as no surprise that Prince Charles chooses to live life without a mobile phone. John Birdcutt, who spent a year with the Prince of Wales filming BBC documentary Prince, Son and Heir, Charles at 70, previously revealed Charles doesn't like phones. Mr. Birdcut said, he gets irritated by people poking their phones at them. He wants to meet people, and it irritates him getting camera phones shoved in his face. Prince Harry himself should understand his father plight, having previously admitted he hates selfies too. During a visit to the Australian War Memorial in Canberra, Harry turned down a young fan's request for a selfie. Harry said, no, I hate selfies. Seriously, you need to get out of it, the habit, I know you're young, selfies are bad. Just take a normal photograph. Queen Elizabeth II has also previously revealed she finds it disconcerting and strange when people are trying to take selfies with her. The implication was that the Queen considers it bad manners for onlookers to be looking at a screen when she makes a public appearance as a guest. The monarch has also previously spoken out on her own grandchildren relying on technology. Speaking to Barbara Wilkins in 2016, the Queen discussed how much children had changed. Ms. Wilkins said, she, the Queen, said her grandchildren did things for her digitally, but she didn't like them to be on their phones and computers all the time. She says they need social skills. She was like any other grandmother really.